are on the Drury's Bluff battlefield and we are about 13 miles from Richmond, Virginia. And we're on the uh, homestead of Collie Burton. Um, and I would be his great, 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 great grandson. And I'm Arthur Lewis Burton. And my father is Collie and he's the fourth Collie. This land was purchased by my great, great, great grandfather in 1896. We're talking about 120 years that this land has been in my family's possession. My grandfather, Collie Burton IV, owned 2.5 acres, which is this 2.5 here. Uh, he died, he was hit by a car in, 19, in the early 1900s. And so my grandfather gave, had six brothers and sisters, and he gave each brother and sister two and a half acres. And this is the last two acres that uh, my grandfather kept. When I, I went to Columbia, South America, and when I looked at their gardens and their farms, it was, you know, they, their farms, they incorporate, well, of course it's South America, so they got mango and banana trees and lemon trees, but they also have flower gardens incorporated into their farms. And so when I came back, I started taking spaces to incorporate flower gardens because it was like so beautiful. You'd be on a farm and it'd be like vegetables and fruits and flowers. So about three years ago um, I created this space in the back and then the other thing was they would make their fences out of bamboo and we do have bamboo around here so I started making these bamboo fences and, and incorporating that in so I'm slowly but surely incorporating the flowers into the farm as you can see I got the flowers in the front and so now like I said we're putting in flowers and I've got mint in here and lemongrass and like I said, I'm really planting a more variety this year because of Leah and V. Now that I have partners, you know, it, I can justify planting more and stuff. V is a part of the Food Justice Alliance and I have a partnership with uh, Omari El Qaddafi. Um, who is also on the executive committee of Community Unity and Action. V had shared with me that she was an herbalist and I had always had an interest in what is really growing because I'm really sure a lot of this stuff has some medicinal purposes. So that's how we got started, to having a conversation that I just wanted her and Leah, Aaliyah to come out and walk with me and show me what was here. And then she does some to have farms. And because we have four, this is one of five this is the backup farm to the other farms in the city. And so, because uh, I can produce more stuff here than they can on the, earth, the farms in the city. Because the key to this is, you do have to harvest everything you grow. That's the part you, you know, sometimes you put it all in and it looks beautiful and then it grows all up. And it's like, like normally, I've always planted this much lettuce. If it wasn't for them, I'd be asking myself, what the hell am I going to do with all this lettuce? Omari called me, he said he was at the church and the church people were like, well, what if we, we're going to grow this stuff and the people are going to come pick it and they're going to take it home and they're going to eat it. And I'm like, and he says, I don't know, I don't know, what are we going to do with it? I said, look, what you guys have to realize is at the point that's your problem, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? At the point I got to worry about you eating this radish, literally coming here picking and eating this radish, that's like the boy farmer, probably the best problem you can have because that meant that you literally got it to break through the ground, you got it to stand up, you got it to the point where now you're getting your secondary leaves on it, and at some point you're going to get a bloom, and then you're going to get a fruit, and then you would have kept all the other stuff they wanted to eat it before the people showed up to eat it and then you will pick it and so if, if you literally get to the point where you're worried about a person eating it you have gone you have accomplished so much stuff and it's like the best problem you can have because 
you talking about on some of this stuff, uh, some of the stuff you talking about 85 days mm -hmm. from the time you put the seed in the ground to get to the fruit. So you know, about almost three months to get to, you know, on this radish, this is 57 days to get to the point where I can literally just, you know, just, just eat it. How is it? Oh, delicious. Yeah. Even with a little bit of dirt on it. But my people say you're going to eat a peck of dirt before you die anyway. So, no matter what. Yeah, but it's, uh, yeah. No, it's delicious. 